Dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Play for you for Dong and Rampa 2. So, when last we left off, we found Old Hope's Peak, found out found about World Ender, and now we are going to get some breakfast. Let's go get some brekkies. Hey, Gundam. Hi, Gundam. Stay back. What, what the heck? Ah. Well, I mean, probably a poor choice of words considering that Terra Terra was thrown into a volcano, but still. <laughs> the fuck are you going, bro? You can't just say all that weird fucking book shit and leave. That guy's the same as all usual. Good to see all the murder hasn't dampened his spirits. Oh, right. So who else we got out here? And I'm sorry if I occasionally switch into Scottish. I have been developing a Scottish accent. I've been trying to get it. I'm, I DM a lot, and so I need it for character options. But how's it going, Jojo? Good morning, Nakamaru. <laughs> Chill your fucking roll, bro. What's wrong? What are you so surprised about? <laughs> well, shit. Is it my imagination, or does he seem weirder than usual? Someone's dead, I'm a fucking suspect, aren't I? God damn it. Good nom nom nomming. Or not. Meow. I like a lot. Who knows? Is that good or bad? I can't tell. Well, okay, I guess I have free license to shit on fucking Ibuki then. About I here. see, I see. I don't want to go that far. He was all right, at best. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. <laughs> if we didn't have piggy fingers, we would've fucked. <laughs> Shouldn't have to say that last bit. Well, and good morning, Sonia. Um. How's how's Kajuichi been fucking stalking you lately? Her servant must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. Huh. Overall, a net positive social encounter with everyone. I was not expecting that, based off of Nakamaru's reaction. And I figured, fuck, and given Nakamaru's reaction, it would have made sense if fucking uh, Gundam's weird model and ass model and fucking good morning was some was part of some other fucking thing. You're not going to the restaurant, my hero? Uh, why? What's going on? <laughs> That'd be a great fucking story. Yeah, I agree. Of course, that doesn't mean I can accept what Terror Terror did either. But hey, We'll see about that. I haven't got a read on you yet, so I don't know if there is a yeah. Kyoko in this game. Yeah, good morning. Why are we just standing around? 
If you're fucking hungry, just barrel up the stairs. Okay, girl. Just pull back the porn face a bit. I know. That's weird. All right. Yeah, sure. You, you're doing great, sweetie. Oh, hey. Hi, Jackie. Hey. You're playing video games again this morning? A little bit. Hey. Not necessarily. I haven't been outside in fucking Come weeks, on. and I'm doing. <coughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> hey, hey. Those aren't. Oh, just just play games outside. Huh? The fuck's a rope? Are you saying I have to join you too? Jeez. I mean, I don't want to. I kind of just want to fucking eat. Seriously, she's so bossy towards guys. Hmm. Alrighty, and with that, let us go upstairs and find out what horrors await us today. Christ. Hmm. Of? What do I think about what? <laughs> nah, dude, I don't, even know what I, I don't even know why the fuck I'm here. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. I'll beat the fuck out of him. Impossible. That's weird. Behold. Oh, God damn it. He was in on it, motherfucker. Huh? What about that other part, where you said he was tied up and can't move? Oh, <laughs> the... hey. oh god, these two fucking chuckle fucks. <laughs> yes, they are a tiny demon. What the fuck do you think it means, woman? I mean... They fucking tied him up. <laughs> well, it makes him an accessory. Honestly. Like, maybe an accomplice at most? Well, it's okay, weird, delicate flower thing. You can fucking... You, you, can, you can assault them all you want. Hmm. 
pilot instinct. How about your hamsters? Do they agree with you? Fall, my tears. But he's... He makes sense. He's just fucking twisted. Like, he explained his motivation to us. That's where Byakuya got killed. actually assume I get an opinion and it's not just given to me or the game cuts before I can fucking give an opinion <laughs> now, I'm feeling he's least likely to be the traitor because he's kind of very much out there on the sleeve this chick he's still eating a lot I see. You know, like he kind of wears his heart out on the sleeve a bit like once once we know he just kind of went whole hog but it would be bad if we didn't let him eat or drink. We ended up dying for real. <laughs> but it's not. You fucking blindsided a guy and tied him up. Yeah, you did. Fucking wake up, sheeple. <laughs> what did you say? Bastard! Yeah, do it. I want to see this fight. Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, you kind of dropped the ball there, dude. What'd you say? I had nerve. Just stop. Well, assuming nobody kills anybody else. Yeah, we do. I'm sorry. <sighs> On top of the island's mystery, now there's now there's also Nagato and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, it's just one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left for our respective cottages. All right, time for the free time. What should I do today? So I could just stay here and do nothing. All right, so first up, I'm gonna head to that fucking tree in the beach so I can get some shit for hanging out with people. Oh, right, and fuck my fucking. What's transcript? What's that? X. Fuck. 
I have anything to give you. Here you go. Hey, have some jerky. Yeah. Fill up that hope. <laughs> I know it's a stupid thing, but I just like that we're standing on the foreground. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's give it a shot. And, like always, skipping ahead. Yes, I should. And so should we. Alrighty, so. I am continuing with my plan of just fucking beelining, just fucking barreling down this one goddamn path that I started out on, despite however much I might I might not like it right now. But fuck me, I'm down this path, I've committed to it. Now let's fucking roll over to the second island. I mean, I know I should probably like spend more time with other people, just because like it, it's just a matter of I need to do that because eventually all these fucking eventually everybody I hang out with will fucking die. But I am worried. Last game I did not get a single fucking four wheelsies friend, and so I kind of want to mitigate that by just kind of going whole hog in a direction. Speaking of, I realized a bit a little bit ago that I'm going the wrong direction. But fuck it, I'm running with it. Hello, Herb's Peak. You magnificent old bitch, you. Wait, what? Damn it. Okay, now. Okay, so he is in the diner. That's what that meant. The whole lap for nothing. But. Any Monokumas around? All right, none that I can see. Into the diner. Yo, Kazuki. You know, right? No. No, I shouldn't. I made a terrible decision hanging out with this guy, but fuck it. Let's go, dog. Me wanting to hang out is not me giving you validation. Don't you fucking dare make that connection. I spent time with Kazuichi today eating burgers at the diner. Looks like Kazuichi and I grew closer today. Let's see what I got that he would like. Again, for anybody new joining us, I have a list. Because, fuck it. Straight jacket. Alrighty. <laughs> Passionate glasses. During ubiquitous handbook. It's nice and descriptive. Okay. What is this? Radio sound. Radio sound B. No idea. Meteorolo meteorological instrument that measures the temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure by shooting a balloon into the sky. Alrighty then. I mean, if that's what you're into, dude. Who am I to judge? Alright, I'm me. I will judge very harshly. 
You're into weird shit, dude. Hmm. Never really thought about it. Maybe I've forgotten what it was. How about you? Do you have one? What's the joke? Do you mean an F1 racer? That's obviously wrong. <laughs> Why am I a fucking idiot? Uh. Wants well, to either be a rocket scientist or just a like, either like a rocket engineer, fucking rocket scientist, or just like a straight up astronaut. I already know. I, I'm making a face. Oh, your mom's vibrator. Okay. Just get up in there and make that shit rocket power. Just... Does he want me to guess or not? Well, the thing Kazuichi probably wants to... Wants to talk about is... Rocket ship. Could it be... A rocket ship? Dude, that's fucking dope. Why would I laugh? That sounds amazing. You serious? Get to build shit that goes to fucking space, dog. <laughs> they eat fucking Toyotas for breakfast, brother. Hey. If it blows up, right? Yeah, if you got motion sickness in a car, you'd have a really bad time inside a rocket. But a fancy like that is very you, I guess. If you've ever come to motion sickness, I can totally imagine you riding a motorcycle with a girl. I'm hanging with a bunch of delinquents and getting all kinds of trouble, too. Just laying it on thick, aren't you? Kazuichi? Did something happen all of a sudden? Man. Had a nerve, didn't I? Dicks. For some reason, Kazuichi abruptly walked away. I don't really know why his attitude changed. Oh, noise. Update report card. While still holding on to some hazy thoughts, I decided to go back. Hit my teeth on my teeth. Like that. It's a weird fucking feeling. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like a, it's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Alright. Well first, let me check my pet. Pooped. And then the map. Where is motherfuckers? Still at that fucking diner. Okay. We out. And off into Nirvana. Or heaven or where the fuck this bridge leads. Right, Central Island. Just. These bridges just really go off into the great white nothing. To the diner again. Do you never go anywhere else, buddy? Just spend all your time hanging out, eating burgers. 
like a sad person. Hmm. Now look at that, dude. I never talked to her. I do. Should I, can I hang, can I even hang out with someone like Kazuichi? Yeah, sure. Don't take me wanting to hang out with you as validation for your weird shit, okay? I spend time today listening to Kazuichi fantasize about Sonya. Looks like Kazuichi and I grew closer today. Let's see what I got. Give you some tissues. You look like you need them, right? Picture that automatically first digital folder hacks into ghostly photos. So you're not jizzing yourself like you were over the fucking. Over the fucking. What is it? Uh, the fucking meteorological equipment, but, you know. I forgot about the. I forgot about the guy who kidnapped her fucking Sonya. Kazuichi seems pretty depressed, both physically and mentally. Get a hold of yourself, man. I'm sure, there must be some way. Come on, you know what they. You know what they. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Are we screwed? It's your fault for complaining. And plus, you know I'm already lame. <laughs> He sure recovers quickly. Hmm. Why not just pick up the holes and get fucking ores and shit, dog? We will Gilligan's Island this motherfucker. Yep, see? There you go. What do you mean, might as well? <laughs> Just imagine, like, seven-year-old Kazuichi just... Kazuichi, did you put rocket skates on your fucking desk again? <laughs> well... Or that. It's like, drawing chalk lines. You'll slap an engine on that bitch. Obviously, you'd be able to die for that. That world doesn't matter. It's okay, I played the first game. At least four of us will make it out of here. We will never kill them. No, no. It went fast. If we start downing now, you'll never stop. They want you to feel like this. Kazuichi? What does that mean? Uh. I keep hitting my teeth on my teeth. That shouldn't be possible. After saying that, Kazuichi briskly walked away. I understand why he's worried, but... I feel like he's worried about something else. My eyes keep drifting over to that fucking PSP road sign. But I guess for now, I should just wait until Kazuichi feels comfortable talking to me. A noise. Got to read that eventually. After watching Kazuichi leave, I left the area. Very direct.
Night time. When dark dealings are done. The Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Emergency! Emergency! Fucking what? Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! That dicks. Come on, hurry up! What did you do? Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! Come on, hurry the F up! Dude, come on, you're murdering people. Just say fuck. Curry rice, huh? Feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know what he's planning this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park. Again, huh? Before going there, though, let's read some report cards. No, I'm almost full on Kazuichi. Noise. There's a reason to bike shop, but he's been surrounded by tools and junk all his life. He spends all his time helping his family, so he... So he, is, so he was really looking forward to this trip. He'd rather take cars and bikes apart and mess with the mess with their engines than ride them. Oh, he'd rather take bar, he'd rather take cars and bikes apart and mess with their engines than ride them. He's even he's even putting a bike back together back home, but doesn't plan on riding it at all. Kazuichi's dream is to build a rocket ship, but he knows he can't give a give girls a ride home in one. When I said he could ride a motorcycle, his attitude suddenly changed. Monokuma's rules don't matter. I believe in you, and I will never betray you or the others. But when I said that, Kazuichi walked away. It's like he's worried about something else. Okay, if I had to guess, it is... He had, like, a you know, like family or a brother or something that told him, like, hey, man, I'm going to live forever or whatever, and then took that bike that he is currently fixing up and then died on it. Oh, hello, Mikan. Hey, it's cool. I'm fucking slow too, dog. Um. Oh. <laughs> God, this girl is gonna fucking kill herself. That girl. She tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. And we're running. Like ever, because I want the level to fuck up. I just did. Into the park. The fuck? Yahoo! Congrats, I guess. She totally hooked the bait. Two. Hey, hey! What are you saying? Bitch, you're here too. Bastard! Thank you for waiting. That fuck. What are you gonna do? God, it's gonna have like fur or bullets in it. M Monokuma curry. Ugh. Hey. You never try my curry then. Good instincts. You feed. Go! 
Oh, my four dark devas of destruction! Wah wah? Yeah, it's the little arcade machine thing. Arcade cabinet. Are we gonna play Mortal Kombat 2? Huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna go right to this. What is this? Surprised she was the first one to notice. Correct. Thank you for waiting. Recreation time or recreation time? Don't tell me you're gonna tell us to play this game. Okay, fucking change your panties, girl. She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Huh? You did. Then. What the heck? Yes, that famous game? Famous game? I shall now present. Ta da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What the heck? That's pretty lame. What is this I fucking the game? game? Riddle solving professors are collecting cute monsters. <laughs> ah. Stupid! Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? So, corpse party? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. No, no. What are you saying? Not really. You've made a shitty kickstarted fan game that doesn't have the rights. And what's the point of this game? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? doesn't show up soon. Could it be? They've really tamed it. Actually. Um. We'll find out what that means in just a second, because I need to go do some stuff and I will be right back. Sorry about this. Air back, everybody. So, what does that mean? <laughs> hey. Calm down, Akbar. It's fine. <laughs> oh, this, this is how you fucking got roped into the goddamn kidnapping well, Nagata thing, isn't it? Are you sure about this? Hey, um... <laughs> Come on, the Boy Scouts! You... Fucking be prepared! Hey, hey. 
pretty obvious, I mean. Bye. What the heck? This is bad. But anyway. You are right. Ha <laughs> ha! Plays out, I get it. But Fuck it, dude, just let me play it. You all fucking see it, and then we'll be good. That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? <laughs> and yet you've done nothing. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... Huh? Cause... Cause... Hmm... Nope. She wants to play it. Or? Killing. I'll never allow it. You're gonna allow it. We're gonna be it. It all depends how this plays out. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now. Please return yep. to your room now, Ben. Let's get the fucking sleep. Huh? Hmm. By tomorrow there will be a dead body. I can feel it. I'm a taint. Um. Just right in the grundle. For now. Hope's not buddy. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. Still, that was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something that forcefully, like that, so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but <laughs> that again, maybe not. Sleepy. I can't read her at all. motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Die! You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to learning new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back, all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do whatever, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. That's all from Man, Theater. being successful sure is tough. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ahem. Hope speak. Good morning. Now then. 
It's a regular old good morning message. I should go to the restaurant for now. As if by habit, I left my cottage, and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. What's huh? all, Hmm? Oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. Big bastard. Really? You? I'm shocked. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Are you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to do with Like you. to play that game? Is it the game? What? Yeah, it's the game. So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? You. I'm not trying to question you. I was just... A little bit, yes. Seriously, I didn't mean... I would like to test that. That guy. He's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Good morrow, Gundam. This too must be the will of causality. Don't even know why I bother. Good morning, Pecco. It appears. Yeah, yeah, he's got some shit. I bet Chiaki's dead. There's gonna be the victim. Well, <laughs> maybe not that much, but I get ya. Well, you know, values vary from person to person. Yes. What? What? Thirst for it now. Mikan looks extremely happy. Guess Chuck is a sweet side too. And then upstairs we go. <gasps> Where is everybody? Waiting. Huh? Hey. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is that for Nagato? We get in there and we see that he's eating his fucking leg. <laughs> Anything for the ultimates. <laughs> well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. <laughs> Damn, girl. Hmm? What does that mean? Jeez. 
He didn't even say thank you. Do you understand? So that's why running back and forth? That must be hard for you. Really? What? Hey, hey! No. Huh? Jeez. God damn it. Business. Thank you. You're gonna play the fucking game, aren't ya? Don't you run away from me. My hero pushed the train into my hands and ran away before I could object. See, that's why hands out. Don't touch it. Don't accept responsibility. Jesus is always something. As I recall, he's tied up in that little up, up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Well, I guess I fucking gotta. Guess the game won't let me do anything else. Get her tampon out of your ass, dude. Not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagato. Well. If you really mean that, you wanna switch with me? Hmm. <laughs> Run away, you coward! He he totally ran away. Come, bitch. You can't. If not allowed inside, why is Nagato inside? Um. Came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Hey. It's okay to go inside then? Hey, hey. She is so adorable. So, Nagato's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulped back my dried saliva. Ugh. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. Vigorously! As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Jime? Where'd you motherfuckers uh, get chains? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. He was the same, as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion. But, but, but one I couldn't help feeling at the moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Oh, you're not going to feed me. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. He has just the mother of all erections right now. Oh, I get it. Freaking Mahiru. That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? 
She leaves saying she had some business to take care of. Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really liked that game a lot. Don't change the subject. I'm asking you. Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But... I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime! You could sit there and rub your dick against your jeans till you fucking come like a normal person. Damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? Well, I'm doing nothing about it. Someone else is... No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. Oh, free time. No, dick, no, I wanted to clean. Clean up your poops. All right, can I actually just do it? Oh, no, nah, let's fucking just hang out with Kazuji. Yo, Kaz! Let's go, fucker. Looks like Kazuichi has other things to do. Let's hang out with him some other time. Well, fart muffins. So then, who else is here? Nakamaru. Yeah, let's check out a Buki. Yeah, let's hang out. I love music. Today, Ibuki taught me about the musical instrument she loves to play. Ibuki and I grew a little closer today. Present? Um, fucking definitely. Let me just pull up the list of things I have to give her. Let's see what we have here. We are. Yeah, she likes headphones. I'm assuming. Good job. Cause I'm a fucking psychic, bro. What? Meow. What? Um. What? <laughs> School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> oh, 
What is? Not really into music. <laughs> cool, it'll be the Air Guitar World Championships. That's not something the ultimate musicians should say. But even if I'm pretending, I've never held I've never even held a musical instrument. What do I have to do? What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. Yeah, just learn the beginning of Wonderwall and you're fucking fine. That isn't something the ultimate musicians should say either. Okay, then. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really have to choose something. I've never played any type of instrument before, so it doesn't really matter. Bass, guitar. I'll use the bass, then. Aww. Bitch! Why? That was fine as long as I didn't pick the guitar. I play bass, dude. Unless I'm Flea or Les Claypool, no one's gonna fucking care. Okay, keyboard then. Maybe the keyboard? Are you serious? What? No, I've never touched one before. <laughs> okay then, fucking drums, I guess. Do I even have a choice here? Apparently it fucking does matter, so I guess drums. Good job. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. I see, I see. <laughs> Hold on a second. Why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. Noise. I parted ways with Ibuki and went back to my room feeling exhausted. It's still light outside. There's plenty of time left. Maybe I should try to go somewhere, or I should spend some time with someone. All right, but first, I'm gonna read fucking Ibuki's report card. No, not presents, god dag gum it. Now then, Ibuki says we're banned now. But she gave me a half-assed music lesson that only taught me how to use a loudspeaker. Her training doesn't make any sense. I need that for the map. Let us see who is doing what where. Oh, 
Alrighty then, so that will be the Rocket Punch Market. And away we go. Fucking gum it. Okay, where the fuck's a bookie? Diner parking lot, okay. Okay, hasn't pooped yet. Waiting for him. God damn it, I was fucking awake when I started this. Why am I go why am I feeling sleepy now? Fucking dag dag damn it. front of the diner. I guess. I had a lively time drinking tea with Ibuki. He feels like Ibuki and I grew closer today. Ibuki present? Hey, let's see what I got. Songs from Tatsuro Furuta, folk singer slash songwriter who ushered in a new era of folk music. Good job. Cause I'm following a walkthrough, yeah. motherfucker. Hajime. Club? We're actually serious about that. Racing? Do they have anything to do with music? <laughs> yeah, bro, cardio. <laughs> or that, I guess. was I bossed around by Ibuki. I had to run five laps around the island for some reason. Hello? <laughs> yeah, if you say so. Oh god, I'm gonna barf. <laughs> How are you so energetic? Aww. That may be true. Then do you usually train like this all the time? I thought this was training so I could learn proper music theory. Meow. What? 
That is sad. This is sad. Isn't that because eight leaf clovers don't exist? Hey, hey! I did that once. I ended up fucking a couple towns over. That's totally it. <laughs> Impossible. There is no way I can keep up with what she's saying. Once Ibuki starts talking, it seems like she'll never stop. Nice! Level up. And new pro card. So then is it? After being constantly bombarded by weird topics, I was exhausted by the time I returned to my room. And that's it for today. It took us the carpet is purple. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now. Please return to your room now, Ben. Productive day. Any other day, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagato said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Yeah, I'm totally doing this for, for science. Yeah. Hi, Jackie. Huh? Well, you know, what about you? What are you doing? Um, I thought I was a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either the restaurant or the supermarket. Hmm. So I'll be going now. See you later. Hajime. Huh? What? Yeah. Yep. I feel like she totally saw through me. the game. It's time to play the game. Nope. Missed that? Oh, well. Play the bitch. So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. Yeah. So I should just go for it. But first, let me read up who gives up the report card because I'm meant to do that. Buki loves racing and a bunch of other random hobbies. I have a hard time keeping up with her when she's constantly when she constantly comes up with strange ideas and talks a mile a minute. Uh, 
I guess for now, I should try playing a little. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game. And the screen automatically lit up. As I faced the screen, I put my hands on the joystick. This game is working nonfiction. Any resemblance to a real person's living or dead is purely intentional. This game has a strange old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Sounds like some clock tower shit. Oh well, I should try to start it up. Since I pressed the start button, right? Now let's begin the Twilight murder case. Please press the start button with your own hands. This is straight up his clock tower. Yeah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for the meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Right, same controls. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What are you doing? I'm sorry. You're angry. I'm sorry. Um, don't be mad. We're not angry. It's hard to pick it over here. But I... Okay. I have to go talk to girl B for now. We're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? I was gonna talk yesterday as Hi, hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? You're not gonna fucking do that the entire time. Such a slime pack. I'm like dead. July 8th, at around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the detail of the crime, authorities say the investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. Yeah, it's bad. Report bodies if you find them, kids. I mean, not really, but kinda? <laughs> what are you gonna expel or... Uh, whatever. Good God, woman. Why is he jack it to him? Fucking give him here, dude. Cursed. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, but they do, bitch. You killed her, didn't you? Oh, I skipped a couple days. Did it happen at 6 a.m.? Okay, I have a feeling you won't let you won't let us forget. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like this is, this is some, this is, yeah, this, this happened to somebody. This is somebody on this island. Clickety, clickety, clatter. Ah, oh, dip. That's a real person. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game's structure doesn't make any sense. Started with the second day all of a sudden and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why are the first day and the third day skipped? And what's with this down five message in the game over screen? Down five? Well, who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be a motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time just to just stay here, so I should get back to my cottage to think about it. I'm back to my cottage, feeling hazy and disoriented. As I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Hey, um... Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman's sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. I'm even hesitating. Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. 
filled with pride, I ran to the restroom. Went and for gentlemen, what awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me, that stood before me, was Western style or Japanese style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes good, what makes clean Japanese, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting in front of you. Brought to you by Monica. That's what life is all about. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning. Now then, let's show. Morning, huh? And with that, we'll call it there for today. Thank you all for joining me, everybody. Uh, I'll be back at some point with more of this shit. Cause I fucking love this game. Until then, though, I'm dead. We'll see you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out. Whoa!